Okay, here's video two. This is my downstairs toilet, the house of Mina Lima. After meeting um, Eduardo and Mirafora, uh, who are Mina Lima, I became inspired with all their wonderful decorations. So I have the Mina Lima stars coming down. This is all from the Weasley Wizard Wheeze. I love my now wash your hands with a pointed hand. I think that's so great. I have my toilet. I did that myself. And it's just all printed uh, pictures from Google. And then varnished onto a toilet seat, a brand new toilet seat I might add. And I have Harry Potter's suitcase picture there. I've got some letters. And I've got some picture frames here. The Daily Prophet, which I painted to match the room. More stars. And then, with the postcards that Eduardo gave me, I put them on the back of the door. This room took me two days to paint. Uh, but it was so much fun. I actually went to B&Q and had them colour match the orange from the um, packaging of the Weasley Wizard Weas products. So I was quite impressed with myself. Here we have my latest Christmas present from my husband. This was actually the final picture I was trying to get. Harry's 11th birthday picture. Isn't it beautiful? We've been looking for it for a couple of years, but we finally got the last one, the one of six. Here you have pieces of the Quibbler magazine that were actually used in Deathly Hallows Part 1 when they meet, um, they go and see Xenophineus Lovegood. And these pieces were actually from the set that were flying around when the Death Eaters destroyed the house, basically. This is my latest edition, my Hogshead jug, which they sell in Harry Potter Studios. My friend Kelly White sold it to me and then £90 in the Harry Potter Studios. I didn't pay nowhere near that much because it didn't come boxed, but how wonderful is that? I love it. Oh, my Luna Lovegood. Look at that, isn't she gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous from Forbidden Planet that was. She's the only one I have of that figure type, so I'm going to have to... Uh, look into getting the rest I think. My Time magazine that arrived this morning. This is actually full of Harry Potter information. It is a magazine dedicated to the Boy Wizard's 20th birthday. I've got a cookie jar up there. I have some more pictures here of my set. So here you have, um, this is a celebratory uh, print by Mina Lima, signed there by Eduardo and Mirafora. It is print 20, 240 of 250 for the Diagon Alley opening in the Wizarding World in Florida. These are costume cards. Here is Lupin and the costume card attached. Obviously there's a piece of his coat right there. It's either his coat or his tie. I'm not 100% sure actually. Oh, there's a news article with me, Harry Potter fanatic has magic collection. Well, that's the obvious one. I was at the front of the Evening Post there, which I'm quite chuffed about. So one of my favourite characters in Harry Potter, just because of the acting is so brilliant, we have Dolores Umbridge costume card. And there's that one. And this is a piece of paper. These are probably quite rare because there wouldn't have been that many there. This one's amazing. This is an exact replica of the bags that were printed from the same company but here we have a piece of replica bag from the Honey Jukes bags from the shop. Oh, this was a, an artist's impression of the characters from Harry Potter and it's also signed. I got that from a Comic-Con a few years back. Oh, my husband bought that for me. <laughs> it's called Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw print. Oh, my friend painted this. My friend Jenna Murphy. Isn't that amazing? This is a print of the actual painting. The painting is huge. 
but it is so so good we've got toby jones autograph there That's and we've got a Lucius Malfoy, Jason Isaacs autograph there. You can just about make it out. I'm not 100% sure if these ones are real because the other two I got myself. But I don't know about these two. Joe, Rupert and Daniel. They look a little bit sus. That was given to me. Oh, that's meant to be Emma Watson up there. This autograph, however, I got myself when I met her at Swansea Grand. It was amazing because she was the nicest woman ever, Dawn French. And her number plate of her car was Vicar, which I thought was just class. I love Vicar Dibley. She is so awesome, Dawn French. James and Oliver Phelps. Oh my God, I'm going nuts. Autograph there. And then obviously the COA from my friend who goes to the premieres and gets them, like I said before. So Fenway Greybacks autograph there. I did say, didn't I, that I have more of these and I will give these ones away in a competition. That is the Certificate of Authenticity from um, the Journey to, uh, to Diagon Alley from Miraflora and Eduardo. Picture of the twins that goes with their autograph. These, again, I don't know if these are real. But again, I didn't pay for them, they were just a gift. Oh, my Ravenclaw print. Isn't that gorgeous? Signed by Eduardo Lima. I need to get Mira Fora to sign it next time I see her. I absolutely love this. I have the book upstairs. I wanted to show you in one of the videos. But it's a limited edition print of the graphic um, art of Harry Potter films. It was a hardback book that uh, Mira that Mina Lima released as like a gallery showing of their work in Harry Potter is upstairs I will show you in another video um the book actually sold out extremely quickly they were only being sold for 20 pound and they're beautiful this is obviously a copy of the print I totally forgot I had this I absolutely love it it's like Dumbledore's desk and then we have my most expensive Harry Potter print well it's not harry potter it's fantastic beasts i bought this at the opening of their fantastic beast gallery on the night of the 17th of november last year when they released fantastic beasts in the cinemas this is print number three of 250 how awesome is that i went and i got one straight away now they have signed it but it is beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful i bought this before i even saw the film <laughs> i love it love it love it love it these prints are still available honestly if you love um fantastic beasts i would get it i would get one and it says down there then Special release poster, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Written by J.K. Rowling, directed by David Yates. I love it. 